Hello everyone, my name is Mouse Tutorial, and today I'm going to show you how to set up your development environment for Minecraft uh, 1.6.2. So I have already showed you how to make it for 1.5.2, but there, there is a little bit changed in 1.6, so I want to do it again. And it's it has got easier, so don't worry about it. It, it is, yeah, just follow my steps and it will be pretty easy. So first thing you need to do is to download Minecraft Forge. Now you can go to this website, the link will be in the description, you don't have to worry about it. Now I recommend you download the recommend version. Just because there are the um, not too many bugs in here and you know, this is what Forge recommends so I'm going to recommend it to you as well. Now you want to make sure you get the 1.6.2 version and if you go to the right you want to download the CRC. SRC, sorry, which stands for source code, and that is what modders are using. So, download that. I have already downloaded it, so I'm not going to worry about it. So, once you do that, you get a zip file which you can extract anywhere. And what I like to do is to make a new folder and extract it there. So, as you can see, I extracted it here and it put the folder forge in my folder, which is cool. Now the first thing you need to do is open up the folder forge and click on install.cmd if you are on a Windows. If you are on a Mac you know which one to use. I think it's install.sh. But um, okay, so install that. I'm not going to do that right now. I've already done that just because it takes ages to load. About 10 minutes on my PC and I have a decent PC. So um, that's going to take a long, long time. So you want to install that. And after you've done that, you want to download um, Eclipse, which is the program where we are writing stuff in. So if you just Google Eclipse, you go to eclipse.org. Link again will be in the description. You can click on Downloads. And you can download Eclipse IDE for Java EE developers and choose your bit system. So that's how easy as it is. Uh, you get a zip file, just extract it and run. Uh, Eclipse. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run Eclipse and show you what to do next. Now you get this prompt as if you, um, sorry, when you open up Eclipse. So what you want to do is select the right workspace. Now where is that workspace? That workspace is in the folder you created. So for me that is my tutorials 1.6. And you want to go to Forge. Then you want to go to MCP. And you want to highlight Eclipse. When you have highlighted Eclipse, press OK and press OK again. So once again, my folder, Forge, MCP, Eclipse. So this is where you're going to set up your workspace. Now setting up your workspace takes a little bit, not too long. And when you do that, you get this. Now give it a second to load. Close that. Close that. You probably won't have Saros, that's an add-on for me. Um, but you will have something like this. Now on the left hand side you can see that we have Minecraft source code installed. So that's already by default installed. This is all the source code from vanilla Minecraft. So clay, cocoa, uh, cactus, cake, whatever. So this is the normal source code, the normal Minecraft vanilla code. Now what we want to do is we want to add a package for our own mod. So where we put our source code for our own mod. Now how do we do that? It's rather easy. What you do is right click on the Project Explorer. Select New Project. Now once you've done that you can, you can see a lot of different um, yeah, projects. But what you want to do is select the Java project. It should be up here. If not, it should be under Java. So select Java project. Now we're going to give it a project name. Um, this is going to be the name of, yeah, of your project. So give it a nice name. I'm going to call it Let's Make a Mod. Just like that. Now what you want to do is make sure you have the Java 1.7. Or 6, I'm not sure. I think it's 1.7. 1.7 works. Okay, so press next. And what you want to do is right click on this folder and select remove from both paths. We are not going to use that, so just delete it. 
Okay, so let's go to the next tab, which is projects. Now this project, for this project to work, we actually need to add a, another project, which is Minecraft. So select that and press OK. What this is going to do is it's going to get all the libraries which normal Minecraft need and all the source code that normal Minecraft needs. And it's going to also give that to our mod. So our mod now has all the normal vanilla code which we can use. Okay, so in order and export you also want to select Minecraft and that's it. So once you have done that, press finish. Now it's going to ask you to open a different perspective, uh, the Java perspective. I'm going to choose yes, but it's totally up to you what you like. So let me close. Oh, damn it. There we go. So as you can see right now, I have my project right here. Now what I want to do is remove the source folder. We have previously deleted the um, source code folder. Now we're going to delete the source folder. And what we want to do is create two folders. One is the source code, so which is actually the, 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 the letters which are going to make our mod. And one folder for our resources, which are uh, textures and models and uh, well, I don't know what kind of stuff. So right click on let's make a mod, new folder, and give it a folder name. Now I recommend it uh, to do it like this. Let's make a mod underscore common. Common is um, other words for source code, so the letters, the Java files. Now what I want to do is I want to link it to an alternate location, which means that it's not that, oh sorry, which means that we can have our source code in a different location. Now that is very useful because if you want to update your mod to 1.7 in the future, you will not lose your source code because it is on a different location. You can just copy it and paste it somewhere else. So this is um, what I recommend so you do not lose your source code. Okay, so when you link it to an alternate location, click browse because we need to give it a location. Now I will select my tutorials and let me go into that real quick. My tutorials. So what I want to do here is create a new folder called source. This is what is going to hold my source code and my resources. Um, this is outside Forge, so if I ever want to update Forge, go ahead, you can delete the Forge folder as long as you keep the source folder. Okay, so inside the source folder we want to do the following. Oops, 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 source. We want to create a new folder and this is the wrong new folder and this is going to hold to f uh, all the information about a mod. So I'm gonna, I would recommend to put your mod ID here or the name of your mod here because that's that's gonna be a, if it, sorry, oh sorry, if you have multiple mods you can have multiple folders which holds all the information about your mod. So this is gonna be one folder for this mod and I can have another folder for another mod and so on and so on. So let's call, let's make a mod and press enter. Now inside here we again need something and that is a common and a resources folder. So let's make a mod underscore common which is going to hold all the Java files and a resources folder which is going to hold the textures. Cool. Now in order for me to, uh, for demonstration purposes, I'm going to copy this and replace it. This has already this already has some source code, so I can show you that this actually works. Um, but this is how you want to do it. So this is how you have it right now, uh, except for the common folder will be empty. Okay, so let's go back to Eclipse, and we want to select my. Uh, sorry, we want to link to an alternate location. Click browse. Go to my tutorials, source. Let's make a mod. Let's make mod underscore common. Press OK. So that is going to be the location of our let's make let's make a mod co underscore common folder. Cool. Now we also want to create a new folder. So let's make a mod new folder. It's going to be called resources. And if, as you might have guessed, we're going to link it to an alternate location. Browse, my tutorials, 
source, let's make a mod, resources. Hit finish. So now we've got two folders here. What you want to do is right click, let's make a mod, new, source folder. So this is going to hold source code. Then you want to select browse, let's make a mod underscore common. Hit finish. And also you want to do the same, so let's make a mod, new, source folder, browse, resources. Hit finish. So now these are source folders. They will be empty for you. They will not have these packages for you, but that is so I can show you guys what I want to do. Okay, so for the rest you should have pretty much the same setup. What we want to do now is go to this little green arrow, which is the run. Now if you click on the uh, black triangle next to it, you want to click on run configurations. Now what we are going to do is we're going to make a new configuration, which is going to run the vanilla Minecraft and our mod. So it's going to also start our mod. It's going to load with our mod. Now how do we do that? On the left hand side you want to right cl uh, double click on Java application. This will create a new configuration which you can call modded or anything like that. Now for the project you want to select Minecraft and for the main class and this is different than before you want to select where is it? Start launch wrapper. Let me take a look. Yeah, you want to select launch. launch. This one. So you want to select launch from net.minecraft.launch wrapper. Press OK. Now for the arguments, we're going to use a few arguments, and you can just copy them from this run configuration client. So copy and paste. Apply is the same as save. And for your VM arguments, you can also get it from the client, which is uh, how much RAM you're going to use and stuff like that. Okay, now in arguments, we also want to select others. This is going to make sure you don't have too much junk in your MCP folder, but it will be stored in the jars. Cool. Now let's go on. G JRE, we don't need. Class path. Okay, so in your modded configuration, you want to go to user entries and add a project, uh, which is, let's make a mod. And you want to uncheck these. So what this is going to do is, as I said before, it's going to run Minecraft, the vanilla Minecraft, with your mod. So it's also going to run your mod. So once you have done that, you are done. You can hit apply. And that's it. Now, for demonstration purposes, I'm going to show you what it does for me. I think it will not work for you yet because you have no source code. But when you right click this right, uh, this black triangle and click on mod it, Minecraft should start. You probably have only three mods, but uh, this is just to show you guys that it actually works. That this setup works as I say it works. In the next tutorial, I will start making the base mod so you can actually see that your mod is in. Um, so you have to wait for that if, uh, one more tutorial. And there we go. I'm just going to show you that if you do it like this, you can make modded blocks. So that was it. Now, if you want, uh, if you also want to see how to set up GitHub, which I really recommend. GitHub is a program which lets you upload source code really easy to the internet. Um, what is the advantage of this? The advantage is that I can see your source code. I can all see all your source code. If you have a problem, you can just give me your GitHub account and I can see what's wrong. Previously, you had to upload all different uh, classes and Java files all separately and we needed more files and we couldn't see everything. That was just a big waste of time. So if you just use GitHub, it's really, really easy and other people can see your mod. So if you want to see how that works, um, the link will be on the screen right now. Just click that. Uh, I have a different video for that. And yeah, this is how you set up. So watch my next tutorial for how to set up your base mod file. And I hope I'll see you next time. So this was Mouse Tutorial. I'll see you next time.